What's going on guys? Willow Gold here. And today we are back in Zombatron 2. It has been way too long, but today we are back for the fifth episode. Uh today we're gonna be playing in uh level five here or stage five, sorry. Uh so we're just gonna jump right into it here. Uh it has been way too long since I've made a Zombatron 2 video, but we are finally back. Going into stage five here. And uh yeah, we got uh our three weapons. We got the uh just normal pistol that you start with. We got the uh got the knife right there, or the sword, as I like to call it. And we also got a uh a rapid fire gun. I, f I forget what this is called, but it's a rapid fire gun. Uh, so we just. Whoa, those are tiny little spiders. Alright, I remember those spiders, but I don't remember them being small like that. I'm pretty sure that is new to this level. So looks like we got a new enemy here, which is the. I guess we'll call them baby spiders. Which is not nice at all. I might die here. Hopefully... Okay, I do kill... Oh no, never mind. I just take off his helmet. There we go. Now I kill him. And we do get a med pack, which is great. I'm just gonna uh, use that right now. Just as we get it. And I somehow don't make that jump there. And these baby spiders do take... Do take a, quite a bit of damage off of you. Uh, when you walk into them. Which is not good. So we got a keep our distance away from those guys. I just used my med kit and I already took uh, 40 damage back away because of those little spiders, which is not ideal whatsoever. But we will continue in the level here. Um, if you guys can't tell, yes, I am in a new spot. Uh, I'm in my room. That's where I'm going to be making my new, uh, that's where I'm going to be making my Zomtron videos from now on. And I am using a new screen recording software. This is a lot better than the one I used. I was using, and I just died right there. So we'll just respawn and uh, go back to where we were. Hopefully our coins don't despawn. I don't know if, it's, if that's even possible, but uh, just in case, we're gonna make our way back as fast as possible. My game is lagging quite a bit, just like usual. There's a lot of things to load in this game all the enemies and the map and all that so we're gonna jump over here hopefully get our coins back hopefully they don't despawn if that's even a thing in the game and they are still there which is nice and we got one of these stupid spiders who like shoot slime at you they do so much damage now one hits me oh it actually goes right over me I thought that was going to hit me right in the head. It goes like through the top of my head. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I think should have hit me. This one is going to hit me. No, I just jump over it. That was nice. He lifted his legs off and he just avoided it. See if I could dump these onto the other zombies. I think they're too far away, but you never know. And I do hit one. I actually hit both. Let's go. I don't know if that was the best time to jump down, because that bomb is about to explode in a few seconds, right there. And we'll go in and take some of the coins, uh, kill this spider over here. I don't know which way to go, but I'm going to go towards the spider just to kill it. Uh, get my rapid fire gun out. And heal it just like that. And it looks like there's some bombs coming our way. Blocked by the spider. Let's jump over here, get the chest. Uh, I don't even know if I can, to be honest. Uh, get over this. And yes, I can, just barely. And let's see what is in this chest. If I could get down, it's lagging quite a bit. And just some ammo, which is nice. Ammo's good to have. Has an arrow pointing up that way, but let's just see what is through this other wall. I think we'll use a TNT to explode it. 
if you can't just go through it normally. Uh, so let's see here. I think I'll have to explode it. And I think I will. Yes, I will. So I'm going to back up quite a bit here. I'm just going to shoot with my pistol so I don't waste any ammo in my rapid fire gun. Shoot it there. And let's see what's through the wall here. Did it even explode it? I don't think it did. Did I go through at least? Um, no, I cannot. Are you kidding me? There's a secret chest over there. And I didn't explode it close enough. So I guess we're not getting that secret chest. A little bit unfortunate there, but... We'll have to continue in this level. Uh, so we're just going to be jumping up here now. Hopefully this level isn't too long. I feel like my Zombatron videos are usually between 10 and 15 minutes. Which I think is a little bit longer than my average videos, but it's fine because you guys seem to really like these Zombatron videos. So I think you guys would prefer if they're longer. So we're just gonna slice this part open and we got the door with tons of zombies are gonna be pouring out of this out of this door and it looks like we have to go into the door actually so after we kill these uh, three zombies uh, we will go through I wait for this bomb to explode just so it's safe to go through the door because I don't want to get exploded uh, that'll be less than ideal and here's a baby spider and it looks like they are a one shot yes they are so they don't have a lot of health but they do do quite a bit of damage however they are one shots so let's see what's through this door here i mean cool if it was like good like loot or something and no it seems like it's just uh, a shot terminal and a few zombies that's literally all that it is uh just a shot terminal and two zombies one of them headless with the with the bombs, which is quite annoying, but they have like zero health at all. They're one shots. Nice headshot there, and bomb exploded. So let's see what the shop terminal has to offer here. Oh my god, I was just about to ask, how am I taking so much damage? It was because of this tiny little spider. There we go, he's dealt with. And let's see what's in here. A flare gun. Um, it's quite expensive. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. Not quite sure what it would do or how much damage it would do. Uh, but let's test it out here. Let's buy. It. We got enough money. Uh, I'm gonna replace it with a normal pistol. And we do have our flare gun. It only has one ammo. However, I did buy more ammo for it. Oh, uh, let's see, we got four ammo. Oh, uh, which is not a lot at all. Um, let's just buy a little bit more ammo. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go back into the shop terminal and actually buy the ammo this time. There we go. And click here, buy a few, sell it out actually, buy purchase, or click purchase, sorry. And we only have six ammo, so I'm guessing the flare gun is pretty good. Um, here's a baby spider, I survived at one, one health, uh, which is... Lucky, I guess, but we get hit once and we're automatically dead. See what's up here. Still only on one health, so hopefully not too many opponents, not too many en enemies. Here's one right here, flare gun. Not sure what. The oh, it looked like it was a mini explosion. I kind of panicked and it shot the flare gun. Looks like it was a tiny mini explosion. Uh, so that's interesting, I guess. Don't know why it was so expensive then. I'm just gonna jump over the zombie while I reload my gun. Go back, shoot it. 
kill it midair, maybe that'd be pretty cool. Uh, if it can stop lagging. And no, I only get one shot in before I hit the ground. That's still pretty cool. And is this the end of the level? No, it is not. Got two more spiders. One that shoots the slime, and they're both dead. I get a double kill there. Um, I'm going to explode this real quick. Just hits the top of that. I did not hit it. How did I not hit it there? Just switch to my knife. I'll switch back to the gun because it shoots pretty fast. Hopefully I can switch in time. There we go. And just fire away at these spiders. Hopefully I don't die here. It looks like the little thing of uh, slime protects the the spider. It is not nice, and I just avoid it there. And it does explode, which does kill me. So let's see where we respawn. We respawn just right here uh, to finish off the spider there. It looks like I like how uh, when you die, your dead body stays there. A uh, massive explosion there. Not sure how that happened, but at the bottom it does say awesome, which is cool. Got tons of coins. And this might be the end of the level here. I know it's not. I thought it was like uh, the end of the last level where you go into an elevator, it just goes up. That's the end of the level. We got a golden helmet zombie here. Should be pretty easy to kill. And yes, he is. And let's just take this elevator up. And there we go, there we go. And take this elevator up here. See what the rest of this level holds. Jump up there. Got tiny spiders in there, which you don't love to see. And here they come, coming to kill us. And switch to my gun, there we go. I want to kill the spider with the slime first. Little mini explosion pushes me back. I don't take any damage though. Well, this is a good time to use my flare gun. Reload it. Fire it. Big explosion. It killed most of them. However, I still don't see why it's so expensive. It's really not that good. Maybe it's good for bosses. Uh, maybe it does like tons of damage to bosses or something. Uh, because otherwise, I really don't see why it's so expensive. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? That is a massive zombie. Oh my. Okay. That is an absolutely massive zombie. I'm, he's taking so many shots to the head and not dying. Uh, this is bad. This is real bad. Is he gonna... Okay, I was about to say, is he gonna survive a whole other round? He does not. We do finish him off. But, we got another new enemy. And let's see... What's happening here. And there's more! There's more! There's so many more! Oh my god! I have a new mission. Kill 15 zombie giants. So now I'll at least know what they're called. They're called zombie giants. And I gotta kill 15 of them. Uh, this is actually the gun that I have right now. The rapid fire one. I'm gonna buy some more ammo for it. There we go. Press purchase. Get the ammo and deal with these zombie giants. First time seeing these. And here we go. We might have to go through that door that they came through to uh, finish the level. But it looks like there's only two of them. I thought there were a little bit more than just two. But we do kill one there. Okay, so they're not as hard as I thought they were, they were to kill. However, they are still pretty tough. I just finished that round killing him. And it looks like the end of the level will be through this door. So we're going to collect the rest of the coins. Head on through. And... 
This is not the end of the level. Oh my, okay. Find to find the store storehouse with spiders. Uh, I don't know what the game's talking about, but I did complete a mission. Oh my god! Massive spider there. Okay, so we got mini spiders in this episode. We got giant zombies and a absolutely massive spider. It looks like this is gonna be a boss fight here. It is a boss fight. Okay, I did not know that there was a boss in this level. Um, so this was totally unexpected. I did not think that there was gonna be a giant spider boss here. And little spiders are coming out. I'm gonna shoot my flare gun at it, at the giant spider. It's doing a little bit of damage. I kind of regret buying the, uh, the giant, uh, sorry, the flare gun, because it really does not do that much damage, and it was quite expensive, over a thousand coins. Uh, so we're just gonna continue just shooting the, the giant spider. It doesn't look like the giant spider actually does any damage, it's just, it, uh, kind of brings in its smaller spiders to attack you. But this might just be, like, its first phase, and then it has another one that comes later. But we are doing some good damage with our uh, rapid fire weapon here. Oh, okay, and he is he is shooting some slime at us. I think that might be like uh, some sort of venom or poison or something. Uh, but he is almost dead here. And another shot of poison that that one does just hit us with splash damage, uh, but not much. And here come the baby spiders. However, the boss is almost dead. Just a few more rounds, maybe. Maybe even at the end. Nah, I was about to say maybe at the end of this one, but not quite. Uh, actually. On the second last bullet of the round, he does die. So. And it looks like I'm actually going to die from the mini spiders, but not that giant one. I'm at 30 health. Hopefully this kills most of them. It does. Still one left gonna slice him there I miss and there we go now I slice him giant spider uh, did drop a lot of coins and uh, not sure where I'm supposed to go now looks like okay here we go got a little cutscene I did see something at uh, the other side of the the cutscene it was gold and shiny which uh, you love to see Gold and shiny. It looks like this wall is about to explode, so I'm gonna back up just a little bit. There we go. Reload my gun. And let's see what that uh, shiny thing was. Hopefully, it's something good. <laughs> um, not something bad. And why can't I get through here? Is it. Okay, there we go. And what. Okay, it's just a chest. And let's see what is inside of this chest. Alright, we get some armor. We found a suit of the scientist. Uh, the resulting damage you take will be 20% less. So that's actually very good there. Uh, so you take 20% less damage. And this is the end of the episode. Uh, quite a long one there. Um, quite a long level, but we do defeat the spider boss. The giant spider boss. Um, which is very cool. Um, so, very interesting level. We got, uh, I think two new enemies. Two new regular enemies, at least. And a boss. So, we got mini spiders and, uh, zombie giants. Um, so, pretty eventful episode. We got a new gun. Found two new enemies. Defeated a boss. Um, so, uh, yeah. See if you didn't make sure to subscribe to be able to join the Golden Army. So, uh, yeah, see if you didn't make sure to subscribe to Blue Gold, and bye!